where is the CIA when it comes to risk assessment? We have such okay. very poor quality of risk assessment. Please explain to me, NSA, NSA, uh, that listens to every call, reads every message and email, uh, puts drones all over the place so that they can control everything. How they missed the one in France, which is a false flag, uh, uh, with with the uh, with the uh, the Charlie 12, Hebdo, yeah, with the twelve people getting killed. Charlie Hebdo, yes, and um, also the false flag about the beheadings. Uh, there's so many things that I I've lost count. You know, since 2011. Uh, I was a, a normal person. I was a person who would go on my business and work and I was not so politically in, 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 in things, but I, I had my opinion, but not a fanatic, not, uh, taking over things. And suddenly since 2011, I can see all the players and all their moves. It's, um, if I remember correctly, at the age of 10, my dad asked me a question when I came from school. Um, he said to me, what do you think of the Soviet Union and America? My answer automatically without thinking was, oh, they have a chessboard and the pawns are the countries and they are playing with the pawns. This is exactly what is happening. The only thing is the players have changed. The players, the, the, the new world order is Israel and that is a fact. Netanyahu has lost his patience and he wants everything done now. That is why so many mistakes. That is why Libya was bombed. That is why Gaza was bombed. That is why um, France uh, wanted to go with Russia. So she had to, uh, the uh, CIA had to do something to bring uh, France back to, to, to America to, to, to keep the sanctions on Russia. Um, so if you check the, 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 the board, on the things, on who is controlling what, then you will know the, the whole game, how it's going. Last yes. thing for this uh, discussion is what the West did to Libya in 2011 will go down as one of the greatest war crimes in the history. And the world, and they will pay in the end. Morsi and Clinton friends for 30 years. You knew that, don't you? Yes. Okay. So she's a Muslim Brotherhood. So is Obama. He can pray Christian. He can pray. You know that Muslim Islam allows Muslim men uh, to have as many religions as they want. Well, you know, I don't even think that Obama has a religion. I think that he's just he's just a, a sociopath. No, he takes orders. That's all what he does. But, but that's it. I mean, he just, he doesn't have any original ideas. He has no deep ideology that is personal motivation. Guy, he has no internal well, guiding force well, in his the soul. Citizens, which, the which, citizens, which, which requires him to get certain things chased the down. Citizens uh, of Benghazi Gate, they say that he's been, uh, in a Quranic school from the age of six till eleven. And, uh, in Indonesia and that he, uh, he was, uh, top in his class. So, um, if I take that as a fact, um, personally, I don't care what he believes. He can believe in Satan as far as I'm concerned. All of these people are going to hell at one point or the other. It will be some earlier, some later, the same as the king of, uh, Saud. Yes. Uh, uh, or whatever. May he burn and in hell for eternity. Everybody at one point or the other will pay um, uh, for their crimes. Uh, yes. For, but if you check the chessboard, you will see how the game is played. And Libya still has not said her last word. No. Uh, Libya has lived for 8,000 years. Be prepared that we will have a lot of changes. A lot of changes. In 2015, Libya will be the first subject in all mass media. Well, what do you mean the first subject in all mass media? Well, we will be in the news most of the time. 
Oh, why do you think so? That's all I can say. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, I find it interesting that so many of these terrorists uh, that are in part of ISIL, that are part of the Syrian militia, they're anti, you know, the rebel militias fighting Assad. So many of them are coming from Libya. Even today, the, the money, the, the, the Libyan influence is being felt all through this crisis. That is what they want you to believe. But it's our allies who are doing the damn thing. This is what pisses me off. Honey, it's not your Libya. It's America's Libya. It's America's Libya that we're financing it. We're, we're giving them guns. We're giving them weapons. They went in and raided Gaddafi's storehouses. You know, I have to, in Libya, it sickens me. In, In Libya, we don't, those Libyans that they're supposedly going to Syria. They're not Libyans. They are mercenaries trained in Libya, sweetheart. Oh, mercenaries Lib- trained in Libya. Okay. Okay. okay Another good, thing. Good. I, I don't know if you have any idea. The uh, IMF, the mon- uh, monetary changes in the world of IMF now in China. Uh, you know that China is taking over the IMF. She has four seats. I heard about that. Yeah. Yes. So things are going to change. Whether the American Empire likes it or not, the elitists like it or not, and the wannabes, and all the psychopaths who are controlling America and Israel. Do you think it will change because we'll have more wars? I doubt it, but America this year, uh, between this year and next year, is going to go bankrupt completely. Yes. Yes, it is. Because if in, if, if my understanding is correct, if, uh, yes, it is. If IMF has, in the IMF, there are four seats of China. That means that China is having a bigger control in the IMF. That means that America cannot print money. That means, um, when America has a seven, seven hundred trillion. The debt trillion, fixation isn't going yes, to work anymore. Exactly. When she has seven hundred trillion in deri- derivative debt, uh, China is gonna, uh, push buttons. So, uh, and Russia, well, Putin, he's a good chess player. Yes, he is. He's a good chess player. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him. I admire him. Mm. I admire him. He's a strong man. He has the motivating force of character. He is a Russian nationalist. He is exactly. protecting his entire population. Exactly. He's not looking for corporate interests against the people. He sees all of the picture and he's exactly. pulling the whole Russian culture forward. Exactly. That is the same thing what's happening in Libya now. The Libyan tribes are the ones who are in control. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The national pride of the Libyans is coming out, and it's coming out with force. Yes. It's coming out with force. And we are assisted from all sides. For all sides. One thing that Libyans realized, uh, although through 2011 they were naive or played naive or didn't believe in their eyes what was going on, now they know the game. And once they learn the game, they are playing the game. And the Libyans, they have people like me, and other bloggers, and the Moriatis, and uh, uh, Libya Jamahiria blogger, there is uh, Libya Now, there is a lot of other Libyan bloggers together. We are also assisting as much as we can to bring the truth out. Yes. Well, I have, I am impressed that, that, that Libya, for such a small country, was not brought under the control and under the heel of the United States like they imagined that they would do it so easily. That they, when, when I, it was such an insult when Europe, when I remember going on RT television and, 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 and scorning, 
uh, David Cameron and Sarkozy for, for, for declaring that, that Libya would now be falling under their HIA, that would, would, would now be obedient to, that, 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 that the Europeans would not allow an Islamic government to take force and they would, they would, ex- they had expectations that the Libyans would be good to their friends who had destroyed the country. And I was just outraged. I said, I said, you will never control this, these people. They are, they are an, a proud, independent, ferocious warrior people and this is just the first stage of a long fight and, we are and no, I was right we are nomads we are nomads and nomads are fighters they've been fighting for years and years we have now a military council the tribe has a military council and it is a very strong council do you understand when we say that one tribe has over 2 million people Wow. One tribe. Listen, sweetheart, at the very end of the show, I need you to give, tell us the blog where we, where people can find you. Uh, the blog is, uh, Libya Against Superpower Media dot org. Libya Against Superpower Media dot org. People, we'll have you back. Al Fatah, stay safe. I have a feeling your story, I think you're right. In a few days, there will be a report about Washington armed Al-Qaeda and Libya. Truth Frequency Radio is...